Okay, let's get this going here. We have angles of elevation and depression. <clears throat> you know what this means? Unfortunately for you, it is word problems. Okay, but we're going to today solve problems of ang uh, involving angles of elevation and depression. It's really not that hard. The idea here is just can you set up? All right, but first off, let's understand what is an angle of elevation. An angle of elevation is an angle formed by a horizontal line and an observer the line of sight to the object. This line will be above the horizontal line. So, love my drawings here because, you know, hey, I'm an artist. So, like, let's say you have a person and they have, uh, like, the, there's a horizontal line straight across from them to some object they're looking at. But they're looking at the top of the object here, let's say. That's your line of sight. Your angle of elevation is formed by the horizontal line and that line of sight that's above it so there's your angle of elevation. <clears throat> An angle of depression would be looking at something down. Down, I say, down below the horizontal line. So here's again another person. They see a person in a pit or below them. And we have a horizontal line here and we have an angle of depression here. Okay? That right there gives you that, that angle. Okay. So how can we use this? Well, that's glad you asked now. Let's see here. All right. Okay, so here's an example. Leah wants to see a castle at an amusement park. She sees the top of the... She wants. She sights the top of the castle at an elevation angle of elevation of 38 degrees because she just happened to have something that would measure something of 38 degrees. And she knows that the castle is 190 feet tall. If Leah is 5.5 feet tall, how far is she from the castle to the nearest foot? So you can see a drawing, but let me, let me map out something here. Okay, so here's Leah. Because, you know, again, my, my artiste skills are so good. Okay, she is five and a half feet tall. Uh, so we're going with the idea that even though we know the castle is a whole 190 feet, there is a little gap here, as you can see that in my little drawing, that would uh, accounts for her being five and a half feet tall. Because we're talking about from her line of sight, from her eyes, she's got the 38 degree angle. So you need to subtract that first and find out, what we're working with here is 184.5 feet. Then from that, she would go, then you can go, oh, okay, how can I work this? I want to find this distance right here. And so if I'm working for that distance, that's the adjacent to the angles, not the hypotenuse, then I'm going to use tangent. You're going to see tangent a lot in all these. Uh, so I've got the opposite over the hypotenuse, and by doing this, I can figure out that Leah is approximately 236.1 feet away. I guess I should have put feet. I didn't put feet. I should have put feet. Well, there you go. Put feet. There you go. And that's it. Oh, no. Let's look at another one. This one involves football. In honor of the... No, I can't do it. No, not in honor of the Super Bowl. I'm just so mad about the Super Bowl. But anyways. The crossbar of a football goal is... Uh, our football goal post is 10 feet... This is just taking too long to draw. da 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 is 10 feet high. If a field goal attempt is made from 25 yards, which is kind of short to be honest, from the base, and the cl it clears the goal by one foot, whoo, barely, whoo, I got a little nervous there. What was the angle of elevation? So how high, like how, in other words, what angle did I kick it to clear? Whoo, so there's my little football. There's my little goal post. Don't you like how I did that? Okay, now keep in mind, the goal post from the base to the, the, the crossbar is 10 feet, but it cleared by a foot, so that means this is actually 11, the, it, it, the football row is 11 feet. And then you had to go 25 yards. Notice I added those two. Now notice, these are in feet, but that is yards, so I need to convert. I need to always make sure my problems have the same measurement. So I'm going to change the yards to feet, because three, three feet is a yard, so I multiply three times 25, and I find out it's 75 feet. Okay, and again, look, notice here, now we're looking for an angle, so that means an inverse opposite and adjacent, so I'm using tangent, and I would get that it's 8 degrees. So this, this thing lift off with just 8 degree of elevation. Whew! Close! Close call. Alright, one more example. Let's look at an angle of elevation. There we go. Okay. So here they're talking about a boating accident. A search and rescue team is airlifting people from the scene of a boating accident when they observe another person in need of help. If the angle of depression to this other person is 42 degrees and the helicopter is 18 feet above water, what's the horizontal distance to the rescuers to the person to this nurse foot? 
Now, notice here, what they're, they're saying here is, okay, across, straight across from the helicopter, and then, say, down to the person is 42 degrees. But we got this little scuba diver coming in to do the rescue, and he's going straight down from the helicopter. So, guess what? If that angle, like, the angle that you're seeing here is 42, vertical, and, and alternate interior angles would keep it to the same, so that's also 42. So then I could do that and say, hey, I can find this and then go with my tangent. Again, this is opposite and adjacent, so notice it's a tangent. And I could again solve this and just say, well, the x is on the bottom, so I'm dividing. 18 divided by tangent 42 gives me about 20 feet. So reality, guys, this shouldn't be that hard. The idea is that you've got to make sure you have a, you just read it correctly. You might need to draw a little bit. You can see how well I draw uh, to help you understand the situation. But that's really about it. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and stop there for today. Thank you so much for your time. Y'all have a good one. Y'all take care. Thank you.